Okay. Let's talk about the house wren and the Carolina wren. Yeah, two other birds that are very yeah. common and hard to tell apart, especially when you first get started doing this. There they are, both wrens, and the bill shape yeah. tells you like it's one of those types of birds, that long slender bill. And these two, the coloration on the Carolina is much stronger. Notice the tail sticking straight up. That's a wren characteristic. All the wrens will do that. So you see one hopping around, it's going to look like the one on the right. Uh, the one on the left doesn't have its tail up. So if you look at the Carolina, we mentioned the eye stripe on the other birds. Same thing right here. As soon as you see that strong eye stripe, oh, there we go. Uh, you know it, it's, not, it's, a, it's a Carolina. And now, on the females, will that eye stripe be as bold? Will we see that? They're the same looking birds. Oh, exactly the same. It's one of oh, those birds that's that easy. It, you know, yeah. like a blue jay. You ever see a female blue jay? No, you don't know. They yeah. all look the same. Oh, okay. So, at robins, they're kind of like that, but robins, the female's a little lighter. Yeah. Uh, not as strongly colored, but still they look very much alike. Yeah. But in the wrens, yeah. And, uh, but that's, look at that eye stripe. And, this bird right here will be bigger than, say, a house wren. Yeah. Considerably, but until you see them side by side, yeah. you don't know that. You just right. see the little bird with the tail popped up and hopping around like a wren. Yeah. And, uh, and they do, just like you mentioned, have those slender beaks. They don't have yes. those big, like, pop open a seed beaks. Exactly. What, what should we feed them since what do you they have the little well, beaks? You know, it's a funny thing. You put out regular bird seed. It's hard for these guys because they don't have yeah. bills made to crack things right. open like the conical bill mm -hmm. uh, of the other birds. But sunflower meats. Oh, yeah. And That'd suet. be great. Yeah. Both of those items, yeah. they come to it all the time. Uh -huh. So... Back in the day, as they say, you would never see these birds coming to, or bluebirds, coming to a bird feeder. Why? Because there was nothing in there they could eat. Yeah. But once we started introducing a lot of sunflower meats into the blends, and pure sunflower meats is a good food, all of a sudden you start seeing bluebirds, which are common visitors to our feeders now, because they know yeah. they can eat the sunflower meats without the shells on them, yeah. and, uh, and suet products, which is the fat stuff that you put out. And they're there all the time feeding now. So we get to see those birds we didn't used to in the past. That's so fascinating. So the, wren, the wrens will come to your feeders yeah. if you have that type of food out for them. Hello, this is Richard Cole. I want to thank each of you for watching. And I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to share it.